and welcome to this channel. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if you think you might be pregnant. Talking about different reasons why you might think that you're pregnant and next steps. So let's jump right on into it. So I've broken down the different reasons why you might think you're pregnant into three categories. The first one is that you missed your period. The second one is that your method of contraception broke. And the third one is that you are experiencing symptoms associated with pregnancy. So I'm going to tackle each one of them before moving on to next steps. So first, you've missed your period. So there's actually a lot of different reasons why you might have fluctuations in the timing of your period that are not you are pregnant. So it could be because of stress, could be because of your diet, or could be because of the medication that you're on, in addition to other reasons. These are just some. So hopefully that might give you a bit of peace of mind um, so if you reflect back on whether you're having a lot of stress in your life or whether you've had any dietary changes and think about, oh, it might be these things and not pregnant. The second reason you might think that you're pregnant is because your contraceptive method failed, i.e. the condom broke, the withdrawal application or technique wasn't perfect. Some sort of variation of there is cum or pre-cum in or around your vagina. And the different variation of that is associated with the different likelihood that you might be pregnant. What I'm trying to say is that pre-cum and around your vagina is low likelihood and then closer to your vagina sperm and cum is more likely that you're pregnant. The third reason you might think you're pregnant is that you're experiencing symptoms that you associate with pregnancy. So instead of listing them all for you, I've made a table and I have all the symptoms as well as other reasons that might have caused those symptoms. So hopefully that'll allow you to again reflect back on your life and think, okay, maybe I did have something weird to eat the other day or this might actually be PMS and might also give you some peace of mind. So feel free to pause the video and take note of whichever you think applies to your situation. Now, hopefully I've given you some tools to uh, take a different perspective and look at your situation and assess the likelihood that you are actually pregnant. On from this, we're looking at next steps. The first step that I can recommend is talking to a medical professional or counselor. I know it can be really hard to book an appointment with a doctor or talk to your family doctor about this, so I've included a bunch of links to hotlines in the link below. Um, some of them are for the more medical aspects, so you can ask them, okay, I've had sex with my partner these many days ago, this method of contraception failed, am I pregnant? Those types of questions. And then I've also included links to more counseling type services, and they can work through your emotions um, with dealing with the fact that you might be pregnant. Because I'm Canadian, most of the resources are for Canada because those are the resources I know best. So please comment below or tweet me um, if you know really good resources wherever you live, and I will be sure to include them in the description as well. Beyond talking to a medical professional, if it's been two to five days since the event that you think caused pregnancy, you may be eligible to take an emergency contraceptive. I have a whole video about it here if you want to learn more about the science behind how it works and whether it's a good fit for you. And that's definitely a good option to bring up if you're interested in it when talking to your healthcare professional. So my last recommendation is take a pregnancy test. It will really give you peace of mind and calm those worries. Um, so you can take a pregnancy test around two weeks after the event which you think caused the pregnancy or on the first day of your missed period. And you can get a pregnancy test from lots of different places like drugstores, a clinic like um, Planned Parenthood, or your family doctor. Also, if you go to uh, college or university, there might be services on campus that provide free pregnancy tests. So be sure to check that out too. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, after I made the emergency contraceptive video, I was getting a whole host of questions about, am I pregnant? And as much as I love answering your questions, I am not quite the person to assess every specific situation. So please check out the hotlines below and I hope you found this video helpful. Um, again, if you have suggestions for videos, please leave them, leave them in the comments, tweet at me, or I have a Tumblr where you can ask questions anonymously as well if you like. Um, so that's it for me today. Have a lovely day.